Okay. All right. So, <laughs> do, you, do you have anything else to say about uh about Snoozy Pop? <laughs> I think I left it all out on the mat, dude. You left it all out there, man. I just like like your boy Dusty. <laughs> I, yeah. I wish that I enjoyed it more than I did. Of course you do. No one goes into something well, wanting sure. to hate it. Yeah. I I well I really wanted to like it, and I was stoked about watching this one. Yeah. And I hate saying that I feel a little let down, but because they don't owe me anything, this is their art, not mine. Yeah. It just and didn't I'm, do it. I'm for you, free man. to feel how I want, as I'm sure they wanted. But yeah, it just didn't do it for me. Didn't do it for you, man. That's a bummer. But I mean, it's it's. I don't know, man. Sometimes the shows hit you. Sometimes they don't hit you quite right. And I gotta hey, tell man. you, I mean, I I did find quite a bit to enjoy in here. There were some, like I said, there were some moments that were legitimately heart pounding. There's a bit um in my personal favorite arc, which was uh, Boogie Pop at Dawn, where just that it's so simple and it's so like it's it's just n- almost nothing, but it's just the doctor sitting there talking to uh, Miyashita. And because oh, her mom try, brought her in, yeah, trying to figure yeah, out her mom brought her in because she's saying she's got this split personality or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, freaking Richard Wagner starts playing on the damn uh computer and pop. Oh, hi, I'm uh, Boogie Pops here, and it's just so intense this conversation they're having because this doctor you find out is <laughs> bad stuff, and Boogie Pops describe just talking about how uh they're there to stop the enemies of the world she's like well who's an enemy of the world it could be you yeah and like just it's so intense just this conversation they're having and it's so simple and it's like it's almost like there's nothing there but like there are other moments that yeah your boy got snoozy (laughs) yeah i I think i like the uh versus imaginator uh arc the best but Mm -hmm. That one arguably be, or arguably might be the snooziest. Yeah, there's there are some long stretches in there where you're just like, wow, <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna lie, man. When I when I first started watching this one, uh, partly because it was 18 episodes, partly because I had watched like the first three and was kind of bored by them, and then like started up again uh, to finish out the show. I, I got that I got that old like man, this feels like homework feeling for yeah. a little bit. It's like something um, I gotta in do in the in the imaginary series. I. I honestly still couldn't tell you which each part of the rose that the guy saw in people meant. Oh, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that it ever. The only, said. The only one that really matters mattered was the thorns. But that's that's one of the things that that the show does is you think that something matters, or you have a question like, I would like to know what the butt is. I would like to know what the roots. He wants are, to know what the butt is. But they don't. You don't get to find out. Let me tell or you. Or you close your eyes and you fell asleep and you missed it. Let me tell you about the butt. <laughs> I love the butt. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh I think we can stop talking about this show now. It's gonna start sounding like we are shitting on yeah. it. And I'm not, man. I I I think we have certainly rated yeah. things lower looking at you Goku dolls. Um yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh Well yeah, and you know, this is it's, it was it's a program. kind of a this is kind of a dip compared to what we usually do. Sure. But that's you know, that's the no, show. Think- we we review things. And it can't be peaks all the time. We gotta have some valleys in there every now and I then. I think my even if it's a high valley. Now I'll say, I revised it, but I think this is about on par with my original review for Bunny Girl Senpai. Oh yeah, which I did revise. We can bump that up a point or two. We said we said <laughs> in one of our rambles, but um, yeah, man, this uh, didn't quite do it for me. But um, that you know that said. From reading the, reading the Wikipedia pages and whatnot, I am pretty interested in this story. I kind of hope they make another season, just so I can see more of these stories. I would hope that you would just read it because it really looks like it plays yeah. out better on paper. I would. I think you're right, but also, Amine, what am I? What am I gonna pick up a fucking? Book? I mean, if they if they do a second, what part, am I gonna gonna read a? Book, if they if they do a second part of this where they cover some more arcs, I will let out a lengthy sigh and we will get back on the old <laughs> freaking motorcycle. We don't have we don't have to go again. We'll freaking that'll, that'll fire be a, it up. We'll that can fire be a Brandon up the thing. Yamaha. That can be a Brandon ring, thing. Ring. We don't the Mappa. Yeah, you're the worst. Mm. All right. Well, 
let's uh, let's move on. Um, hey, Roger, I have a question that I think I know the answer to. Yeah, what's that? What have you been watching? I didn't watch anything other than Boogie Pop this weekend because, or this entire week because I kept falling asleep and missing my other anime. Oh, my I baby couldn't boy. go and watch the other stuff because I was like, fuck, I still have so many episodes of Boogie Pop. I'm Each not, one feels like four episodes. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm kind of bummed out about that because I really did want to talk to you about uh, Sars on my... Um, the good news is is we're doing a Gretzko, and I will certainly have time for anime oh, yeah. this week. That's going to be a quick one. So, yeah, you need to catch up. You got some catching up. Yeah. Now, you might be able to catch up on uh, Dororo this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, we're I'm going to do on that some work. I, I know I'm going to try to catch up on Dororo this week. That's my plan. At it's least that. It's a shame. But, you know, and there were times where I was like, I could just watch other anime. But my my duty to the show, even though I didn't fully you finish. You didn't finish it even. My duty to our show. Roger, you is know. I wanted to get at least as far as I could. Roger, you tried so hard. And it got so far. But in the end. It didn't even matter. <laughs> All right. Well, where are you now? Hey, you got a way you now. It's like, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I want a hot dog. It makes me want a hot dog real bad. Oh, wow. I never saw that movie. This, that's the first time I heard that quote was today. It's so a, I haven't mastered it yet. That's a decent a movie. Dog. Look, Legally Blonde is up there. That's a classic. Um, no, uh, let's move on. <laughs> well, hey, dude, what have you been watching? Uh, Legally Blonde, obviously. No, I watched uh, pretty much all the regular stuff. I did get manage to get all the way through Boogie Pop. Uh, I'll tell you the trick to doing that one is literally like went home, went to sleep, had to work the next day, and that Saturday, like as soon as we were done recording that Saturday after that, I just like watched all the regular stuff, and then I was like, all right, let me get through at least three episodes of Boogie Pop. <laughs> That's what I usually try to do. Yeah. It, it but these episodes rough. feel so long. They did Dude, feel long. I even started it. I was like, okay, maybe this one's a little stranger. Maybe Cat will like this one. So I was watching it with my girlfriend. And Didn't work. She, yeah, she was like, I don't like how this anime is. <laughs> 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 I don't like watching. Cause you, I, don't like, I don't like the way this exists. In Boogie Pop and others, you see some of the same parts over again. Yeah. And, and that happens throughout the anime. But uh, she's like, I don't like watching these same parts over again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's kind of rough. All so right. as a noob, a noob coming in that doesn't watch much anime, not great. They didn't like it, so it's not a didn't, good one to show, show that special lady that you're trying to hang out with or special dude. That's yeah. a first time anime. -er. I'm telling me, don't me go to and, Boogie Pop. I'm telling you, me, me and Haley got through. Go to Elf like and Lead. Three episodes of Wow. Go to Del, go to Domestic Girlfriend. You're a monster. That's where you start. Did you guys, you guys check that out yet? No. I'm gonna keep dropping it, dude. Her monster. Eventually, uh, it's gotta happen. Let me talk right? about my shit. Okay. Um, Fruits Basket continues <laughs> okay. to be adorable. It's Fruit Basket. Um, it's really good. This last episode was actually like super, basically nothing. <laughs> you want to see my fruit basket? <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. Done. <laughs> done with these. <laughs> that that's nothing. That means nothing. Uh, New Hitori Bochi was super cute. New We Never Learn was pretty good. I can't really talk about these things because Roger hasn't watched them yet. I know, yet, this is going to be a stuff. shitty ramble. I'm sorry, guys. I'll give you this one. Uh, we Never Learn. My dude gets a phone. And gals. My dude, my dude gets a phone. <laughs> oh, he cool. He didn't have a smartphone before. He gets a phone. Shenanigans happen. Porn. Baby, you get... No. You do get... You get a decent amount of fan service in this last episode of We Never Learn. Oh, man. I'm oh, so boy, oh, boy. Yeah, you're going to have a good time with that <gasps> one. They're sending pics. It's going to make your pee-pee hoard. Oh, <laughs> man. All right. I had to whip out my fruit basket for real. Uh, New Amazing Stranger was pretty cute. Uh, that show is just so fucking stupid and weird, and I can't stop watching it. Uh, Demon Slayer, holy moly, cool stuff happening there. We're about to get some action. <sighs> about to get some real action. Can't talk about it because Roger hasn't seen it. I will talk about the newest episode of Sars on my. Oh my god, I'm so scared for my boys. Because <laughs> I can't tell you what's happening in here, but. Oh, it's so scary. Roger, it's so scary. This show continues to be my favorite thing this season. We're getting a lot more backstory and stuff. I I think I told you I told you this before. I don't remember if I said it on the podcast, but I'm gonna say it now. I hate and despise and abhor the term instant classic. 
That doesn't, it's an absolute anachronism, it doesn't make any sense, it is an oxymoron, you can't have an instant classic. Classic means that it stood the test of time, it was good then, it's good now, it's been good the whole time. You can't have an instant classic. I know people yeah. like throwing it around, it's not a real thing. It actually has been, uh, I've seen a lot of the anime tubers talk about it recently, about yeah. if there are classics, like instant classics and stuff anymore, sure. or I classics just, at all. Sure. Um, I just really don't like the term instant classic is my point, okay. but... I gotta tell you, if 10 years from now, I look back and rewatch Sarazanma and I don't still think it's amazing, Roger, look at my shoes. I will eat these shoes if I don't look back on it in 10 okay. years and think it's not amazing. Um, okay. I'm calling it a pre-classic is what I'm calling it. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I really, I really do enjoy this show. Uh, we've only got like what three episodes left of it. Uh, yeah, it's up to eight right now. I think there's only going to be eleven. So I'm super down to see where it goes. It continues to be the weirdest, coolest, greatest thing, and I love it. Um, beyond that, I can't really talk about anything else because you haven't watched anything else. So I guess get ready for a, uh, a super chunky uh, 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 ramble yeah. next week. Chunky boy, you're gonna have a chunky boy on the ramble next week. <laughs> Chunky, chunky. <laughs> so chunky. So chunky. Big chungus. A real big chungus of a ram. No, no, not big chungus. Big chungus. <laughs> Did I tell you that's what we... Uh, we're So I have a group of friends that we play role-playing games with. We're doing Starfinder right now on Thursdays. Fucking nerds, I know. Um, it's like Dungeons & Dragons, but space. But, man, oh man, we have a spaceship... And I don't know who came up. I think it might have been Haley who came up with it. She, we were like, what's the ship called? We were like, uh, let's call it this. Let's call it that. And somebody just went, Big Chungus. And we were like, it's definitely the Big Chungus. So we are members of the, the we are the Big Crunk Chungus crew. We are the crew of the Big Chungus. I like it, dude. But I like Chonky Boy more. Chonky Boy's pretty good. Real, real chonky. <laughs> I like him big. I like him chunky. <laughs> <laughs> It's All like right. Campbell soup. <laughs> chunky noodle soup. Chunky noodle soup. Gotta get them chunky noodles. <laughs> the worst. All right. You didn't even watch Carol and Tuesday, you're telling me? No, dude. Dude. That's depressing. My life sucks. Oh, baby. <laughs> Boogie Pop ruined my week. I got yeah. one question for you then. I got one real question. Gotta know the answer to it right now. You gonna finish that show? <laughs> you gonna finish Boogie Pop? Yeah. <laughs> I came this far. We're going to do it at, at, at a, you know, maybe during the daytime when I have a little extra time. Like, you got to do first thing in the morning, like get your coffee, sometimes sit I, there and watch it. I, like when I eat lunch or something, when I've been editing and I mm. go out to eat lunch, I'll turn on YouTube and then uh, frantically look for a video that I feel like watching until my food is cold. Sure. Uh, but now I have a boogie pop in the chamber, so I'll just pop that on. Who boy, oh boy. My beautiful baby boy. It's gonna be okay, man. You're gonna get there. But uh, I think that's about it for what I've been watching. We got any uh, questions? We got any anime news? You got no, anything sir. to talk about, big boy? I think we're I think we're solid, man. Not a dig a dang thing. Not a dig a dang thing. Not a dang thing. Not a damn thing. I don't know, man. Let's well, go next week. Let's go next week. That's going to be a good time. We we talked about it already. We both enjoyed the show quite a bit, so it's going to be fun to give it a proper review. I think. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think we're I think we're good for now. There's no reason to prolong this any longer. I know y'all love hearing <laughs> I'm my. I'm surprised my beautiful that we voice. got this far with it. <laughs> I know I know you all out there in podcast land really love hearing the silky smooth tones of your good buddy Brandon, but. We're gonna go hey, ahead. Hey man, and, we there were some jokes. We're gonna go ahead and bust on. I got my weekly bitch. quota of trying to trying to drop some domestic girlfriend on you. Just okay. Anyway, let's hit the plug so we can. You get know you want to watch it again, dude. I don't really. Yes, you do. I don't really. Yes, you do. My name is Brandon Bush, Stop and it. I do want to watch it Stop again. Stop pretending to be me. Hit my quotas, dude. Gotta get all my quotas. You're a monster. Anyway, <sighs> roll us out of here, dude. Roll us out. I'm trying to bust on out, but you keep pretending to be me. I'm kicked back in my chair. I'm All like right. a full chonky boy, so. Mm. All right, yeah. The, <laughs> so, Brandon, why don't you go ahead and hit us with the plugs then? This is what I think you sound my guy. like. This is what I think you sound like. Yeah, okay, Brandon. <laughs> You're making me sound like your other friend that you do the voice of. No, that's Joe. Joe Joe sounds like uh like Bender, but like Does Joe watch the show? 
He's definitely listened to it in the past. He doesn't now. No okay, way. okay. So he's not going to hear you making fun of him. Yeah, the Joe impression is you got to put your tongue in the back of your throat. I got to pretend to be a little bit drunk. Just a little bit drunk. And then you talk like this. This is what Joe sounds like. Joe was the... Uh, <laughs> I, I know Joe. Like, I, I recognize his face You hung out with Joe. He was at a game night at the bar, and he got He's very the guy drunk. They got real hammered, fell he out of his chair. Hammered. God, I hope he doesn't hear this. And we played the movie game, and everyone's like, "Oh, I really hope he doesn't hear this." I love you, buddy. You All right, you said he Let's didn't listen. On. Let's move on. I just, I just, I think Joe's a cool guy. I yeah, don't know Joe's him a cool too guy. Well, but I, I really cool hope guy. he does. There's no way he'll hear if this. I, he won't if, hear this. You know, like if if he does hear this, and there's something about. You know, like he feels bad about he just that needs time to know at the that bar. I love him. Let me tell you about my good buddies at the bar. There ain't a damn one of them that's good for that anything. That I haven't been worried about at some point at the bar that didn't make a complete fool of themselves. Even our good buddy Brandon here had his time. I had my time. That there. was my birthday. I'm entitled to that. And then uh, that we, was my birthday, we sir. Have, we we have honking good buddy. Honking good buddy did honk. Yeah. Uh, you don't you don't give me shit. Uh, the only time I've ever been crazy drive, wasted I, I was had to on drive my birthday. Magic good buddy home a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God Honkin' Good Buddy was driving me around that night because I got super hammered. <laughs> this fool this fool stuffed some gum in my pocket when I wasn't looking <laughs> and had me for a solid year believing that some girl had just gave me gum. And I was like, I don't remember this at all. Gum. Had me believing that I had truly full, completely blacked out and didn't remember that moment. It was not true. He just snuck it in my pocket. The The big moment from that night, that was, I don't remember what birthday that was, but I got crazy hammered at, at the bar. Like three years ago. Because it, it was game night, and I was sitting there playing my playing Smash Bros and stuff, and the big moment was uh, we were playing Smash Bros. I, like, was Ganondorf, and I hammered somebody straight off the ledge, gave him the Ganon stomp, it spiked him real good, and I won the game. And I went, I won, and fell straight the fuck back onto my goddamn head on that cement <laughs> fucking floor. <laughs> And I didn't feel shit, baby. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. He uh, felt nothing at all. Yeah. All right. Let's actually hit the plugs because now we're just stretching it out. All right. Yeah. So, uh, thanks a lot for listening in, y'all. If y'all want to give us any questions, comments, recommendations, tell us what you feel and what you think we should watch and how you felt about Boogie Pop and others, I would actually legitimately like to hear them. I wouldn't mind talking about this show a little bit with yeah. somebody. But, you know, hit maybe, us up. Maybe somebody can provide some insight that, you know... Makes me you're, appreciate you're gonna, it more. You're going to finish it. It'll be great. Yeah. But, um, yeah, if you want to hit us up anywhere, there's a number of ways to do that. Uh, we do have the email account that is thegoodbuddiesanimepod at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. We do, of course, have the Facebook group, The Good Buddies Universe, uh, on Facebook. We have the Twitter, TGB underscore anime pod. We have the Tumblr, which is dead and zombified, thegoodbuddies.tumblr.com. And, of course, anywhere you find these fine podcasts, including Podbean, Stitcher, podcast static is what i use uh, apple itunes um all that good stuff you can find our podcast leave us a rating we'd appreciate those five stars and uh go ahead and leave us a comment or question in there and you know what if you can type it in and it's got our name on it we'll probably find it of course we also you may be listening to and or watching this on youtube at rapid kick media on youtube that's youtube.com slash rapid kick media um a lot of good stuff on there of course obviously we're the, we're the best thing on there right we're the best we the best we the best we the best got our finger in the air because we the da, best da, 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 da. Da, da, da. i got off right da, it's now da, 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 da. <laughs> i'm the best da, da, da. <laughs> that's the worst all right maybe even one gillion d what? <laughs> That's a word he used in there. Or one gillion. All right. Yeah, man. Uh, My record sold one million. Yes. But it's even better than that. They sold one gillion. It's really good, I man. watched that the other day. I showed it to Corey. I'd never seen it before. You'd never seen it before? No. -uh. You should show him Froggy Fresh uh, Dunk. He's on. definitely seen that. Yeah, man. <laughs> My favorite okay, is, my favorite is Christmas list, dude. I was I was wait I was like I was kind of bummed out when y'all did like part one, part two. I was, I was like y'all going like across the board to pick these characters. I was like Corey's gonna be the basketball girl. I want to see him in this Dengeki Bunko game. You can check that out on Rapid Kick Media too, where they're playing that on Let's Play. And I'm like Corey's gonna be a basketball girl. I want to see him play. And he picked her, and he whipped your monkey ass. I can't beat that character. I struggled with it. I jumped on it. there. I was like, why is Roger crying? Cause he just got dunked on. It was so good. She dunks all over me. Dude, is the best character on the best game. Anyway, 
Uh, I've gotten so far off track. But yes, uh, Rabbit Kick Media on YouTube. You can leave us a comment there, smash that like button, ring that bell so we can ding your dong, and give us that uh, subscription if you haven't already. And we give really us that appreciate sweet it. Ding our dong. Ding that dong. Yeah. Ding my dong, bro. Ding dong. Bro, my dong, bro. Um, beyond that, of course, we do want to give a shout out to our good buddies, Married with Sea Monsters, aka the Mary Janes, for the use of our opening theme song. A paper doll. Now they are on Spotify, unlike us. We're not cool enough for Spotify, and you know what? I've accepted that and I've moved on. You know yep. what? You know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's gonna be okay. But our good buddies, Mary with Sea Monsters, are on uh, Spotify. You can check them out. They got some hot, hot fire tracks. They're playing a song. They're playing a show tonight. Nice, dude. But uh, our theme song, which is Paper Doll, is only available on marriedwithseamonsters.bandcamp.com, which is where all the really cool stuff is that you can't find nowhere else. We do, of course, also want to give a shout out to our good buddy, A Petty Theft. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> nice. That is how it's pronounced. Two P's at the beginning, two T's at the end. A Petty Theft. Uh, again, you can find A Petty Theft on Twitter and SoundCloud under Papetti Theft. And I've already done it in the last bit of this uh, program, but we do want to give another shout out to our good buddy Thomas Taste Better on Instagram for the mm-hmm. use of uh, our closing theme for the review on YouTube. My good YouTube. buddy House. Good buddy House. Uh, that's uh, The Buddy's Good is what that one's called. And I think that's about it. We got there. Bringing us on around. Uh, Roger, you got anything else to say to the good buddies? Uh, I love you. I love you too. You want to take us out? You got something to take us out on? Yeah, of course I do. Okay, let's that's go ahead what I thought. Hit. Let's go ahead and hit it. So, from all of us here at the Good Buddies Universe, I am your good buddy, Brandon. And I am your good buddy, Roger. Thank you for being a friend.